There you're looking at some live shots in Brussels. President Zelensky of the Ukraine is just arriving now. And as Jemana flagged before the break, this has been uh, quite a tour already, mm -hmm. meeting with the leaders of France, Germany, and the UK before heading to Brussels this morning, where he will be um, addressing European leaders. And Jemana, it seems mm -hmm. as though the primary goal, one of the primary goals anyway, of this trip is to ask for more support and specifically mm -hmm. more weapons. Yeah, military assistance is key here. And uh, I think, you know, what was key with the speech that he gave to Westminster Hall yesterday, Juliana, is that number one, he was very thankful for the support of the West. He said thank you numerous times mm -hmm. uh, to the prime minister, to the support of the government. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, one major focus of this trip, of course, is to keep Ukraine on people's minds uh, and uh, to remind the West how important this war is and how important it is for Ukraine to win, to mm -hmm. defeat Putin in the name of democracy. So that was a, a, a cornerstone of the speech yesterday. Of course, there were indirects about uh, military assistance and what is needed. And we know that just in the last couple of weeks, both the UK and Germany have moved in terms of supplying those heavy weapons, the tanks that Ukraine had been asking for, heavy weapons. But there's a lot of debate going on now amongst leaders about whether or not they want to supply fighter jets. And there was one element of the speech yesterday that Sylvia talked about. She was uh, covering it live at Westminster, which was the significant moment where President Zelensky actually handed over a, a fighter jet helmet. Uh, to the Speaker of the House of the Commons. And this was quite symbolic because he said, well, you know, the king, King mm -hmm. Charles, is known to be uh, a, a fighter, a, 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 an air pilot. All air pilots in Ukraine are considered to be kings. Mm. And handing over the helmet was an indirect way of him saying, well, we need assistance on the fighter jet side as well. Mm. So that was quite a notable moment. But I also think it's significant that the UK, at least yesterday, announced that they were going to start um, helping with training of a further uh, U Ukrainian army uh, fighter jets. They're going to teach them in simulators and help in case these fighter jets do actually get delivered at some point in the future too. Another element of assistance uh, that has come through is obviously the economic assistance. And then a final point, the UK yesterday did announce mm. further sanctions that are going to be applied on Russia as well. So it is a three-pronged approach. And of course, now he's going to be addressing Parliament to the European Parliament. It's really, um, it, it's also really interesting to think about the sequence of his visits. This was his second state visit to the UK, uh, second state visit, and it was to the UK, visiting the US before, and now the UK, and now moving on to Europe. And perhaps because of how much Ukraine wants and believes it needs these fighter jets. The UK is the first port of call. But it is interesting that the stops went in the sequence of UK, then to France, now on to Brussels. Mm. And both trips actually were deemed to be a bit of a surprise. Definitely the trip to the UK was a bit of a surprise. And even when he went to France, some people were even saying that it wasn't even meant to be part mm. of the itinerary. But he did manage to fit them both in yesterday. And of course, he is in Brussels now. Let's get out to Sylvia, who's in Brussels as well, uh, has been following the itinerary of President Zelensky. Sylvia, uh, what can we expect out of the Ukrainian president today? How will his speech to European Parliament look to be different, if at all, from his address to the UK Parliament yesterday? Well, in a way, Jemena, we're expecting this to be very similar to what happened yesterday in London. Quite a lot of words to say thank you for the support so far, but then, of course, asking for more assistance. And this is important because the Ukrainians have been saying that they're expecting a new offensive from the Russian side. And of course, any sort of support, whether that's money, whether that's military assistance, can be critical on the ground. Now, we're expecting President Zelensky to arrive here imminently. I can hear quite a lot of noise already in the background. He is going to be walking alongside the President of the European Parliament, Roberto Metzola. Then, of course, they will be ha having here a couple of photos, and then they will go upstairs for the hemicycle, where President Zelensky will be addressing European lawmakers for the first First time. President Zelensky, let me just try to get a comment. President Zelensky, what's your message to Europe tonight? You will hear 
thank you so much for your support. You heard it there. President Zelensky saying already thank you to Europe for their support so far. So we're expecting him to reiterate that in a couple of minutes when he joins the lawmakers in the main room, room here of the European Parliament. And all in all, it's not just about the short term measures, it's also about the medium term measures. And we're also expecting President Zelensky to address the lawmakers in terms of the of Ukraine joining the EU in the future. Let me just explain some of the noise that you might be hearing in the background. The anthems of Ukraine and the EU are being played here in, in Brussels at the European Parliament before President Zelensky goes into the hemicycle. So quite a lot of focus and action here on the ground, I have to say. And I just want to make a final comment on sanctions as well, because the EU is already preparing a new package of sanctions against Russia, and this is meant to be announced on the anniversary of this war. Let's not forget there were almost 12 months since that invasion has begun. But now let me hand it over to the studio.